Oh, you've decided to sell your soul to buy Stalinium? Your regular KV-1 legs bias? You don't have jack shit of armor? Because you don't dangle, you moron. And you aim blindly? Fear not, KV-1E! Apparently, through ancient snail motherland's language, KV-1 screen, is there to ensure cheap victory. For only the price of your kidney, you will get a mobile bunker at 4.0. Only for grand realistic battles and in full dungeon. Don't wait. Don't delay. The snail only offers this deal once every six or so months during special events. It can, in fact be used as your entire ground lineup, although flanking, <laughs> on KV-1E, sniping, dream about it with this gun's accuracy and low muzzle velocity, but wrecking German mains, as long as you use BR-300B APHEC round. Now the German mains are in the comments, let's look at this tank with common sense, I know, impressive. You are KV-1E, fairly mobile and this is your advantage. You have roughly 25 to 30 more millimeters of armor, because screens bolted onto turret and hull with finest precision one could expect from Soviet manufacturing. Your gun hits like a train, but doesn't offer much penetration, 70-ish millimeters on 30 degree angle on 100 meters, meaning you have to aim for weak spots. In crew skills you need to pump points into repair and reload, to compensate for being a heavy tank. Obviously, just like any other KV-1 variation, you need to angle, and hard, 35 to 40 degrees average, while wiggling turret like... never mind. Your entire gameplay should be rushing forward while angled relative to enemy, and stopping only for a quick shot. That's why gunnery skills are important. Beyond that, you need to think a lot, because there are guns that can go through you, T-34 right next to you, and still have enough penetration to make your mom go ar, ar. such as US 76mm, ignoring most of armor, or 17 pounder, that makes UK mains go hard as much as their solid AP rounds over the amount of shrapnel your thick armor will create. But your biggest enemy is immobilization and cuss. Thus, stay mobile, jump between points and invest into repair skills. In the end, it's great vehicle, but rare and overpriced. So if you feel like burning hole in your wallet is good thing, go on. We recommend it. This vehicle was obtained without sponsorship of Gaijin Eternal Suffering. Trademark.